Now we're going in the irons with Lally Ward. Three-day event. You talk about grueling, but we talk about versatility of the horses. Lally Ward with Paradise Farms in Aiken, South Carolina, back with us again. Now, Lally, we've talked about dressage. That's the first performance at a three-day event. What are we going to talk about today? Today we're going to talk about show jumping, which is actually the last phase of a three-day event. And going back to its origins from the military, the dressage again showed us how to control our horse and talk to our horse and it's very important that he still listens to us on the third day. Now when it comes to a three-day event do our competitors have to show the same horse on all three phases? Oh yes they do and at the Olympic level at the top level no medication is allowed so the horses that the purpose of the three-day event is to produce a horse and rider combination that's going to be able to withstand the rigors of war. So our third day is to prove that the horses are sound enough and agile and supple enough to come out and jump a course of show jumps that are very easy to knock down. And the eventing is all about penalty points. Each rail costs us about four points and there's also we're against the clock so that's a factor too. And it's a real test of nerves because the day before our cross-country day, the horses have learned to jump in a flatter sort of a trajectory and now we have to have a round, bouncy canter so that the horses jump up and are very careful not to touch the jumps. They have to be very rhythmic whereas the day before they've gone hard and fast and I'm sure they feel like we feel like when we get up in the mornings. So it's a real test of horsemanship to be able to produce a clear show jumping round. Talk a little bit about what the mindset would be of a competitor who's getting ready to get on a horse who's been through dressage and then has gone through one of those cross-country courses grueling and, and all out and going and then having to come back and try to make those smaller jumps on that last day. Well first of all they're so relieved to have lived through the Saturday the cross-country and they're and, and it is um, it's very stressful with a real three-day event horse first you have to pass a jog up so they have to be pronounced clear by a veterinarian as sound. To, as sound to be able to come out and do this course. So that's always your first test of nerves. And then since this is such a delicate situation, I think this is one of the hardest phases to ride because you really can't let the horse feel any tension in yourself. Any small move and the horse will tap that rail out and you go from first to 17th and you don't make the magazine. It's really frustrating. I'll tell you what, let's do. Want to be fun? Let's have somebody go over some jumps for us real quick. Talk us through what this run would be. That would be great. Now as you come into the jump course, what, what are you thinking and what must you do first off to get ready? Well, she would have walked the course. She would have measured the distances between the fences and had, an, and had a knowledge of how many strides would be in between each jump. What we're looking for is a rhythmic, balanced canter, which we definitely have here. Horses, you can clearly see the horse going da da dum da da dum. There he sees the jump. Good lift. Now you can see his ears perk. This is an oxer, a spread fence. There he did it. Oop, waiting for a flying change. There, there he goes. did. There he did. So well, now she's coming around the corner to another oxer. She's got a balance. Make a square turn. And this has a set number of strides: three, four, five. Perfect. Beautiful. Now, oop, and he kind of bombed off a little bit. That would be very normal for a three-day event horse who was fit to run for his life the day before. And then the rider's got to say, wait a minute, mate, you're not running anymore. You've got to go in your careful canter today. Collect them up and get That's ready. That's right. This is a liver pool that has a water tray underneath it. Big jump there. Well done. So the show jumping portion of the three-day event, is it really a day off? Is it really that much easier? Get your mindset. That's in the irons. Thank you, Lily. Oh, thank you so much.